Hello? Orange chicken, Lynn. Oh my God, is that a little baby spider? I was like having a Marilyn Monroe moment. Hey guys, so welcome to Vlogmas day two. That means today is December 1st. You guys will be seeing this December 2nd, which I'm sure you guys understand. <laughs> I know some people vlog on December 1st and then upload it December 2nd and that's the first Vlogmas. I don't, I don't understand that, but everyone does it differently. That's okay. So what we have on my lips today is Milani, which is actually a lip plumper, but my lips are so small that it's just not working. I do feel it. So I'm mad at myself. Um, as you guys know, I'm sick and DayQuil and NightQuil really work for me, but I forgot to take NightQuil last night. So I woke up feeling like an actual like trash can. <laughs> what? So I'm about to take my DayQuil right now and I hope to feel better. Um, I'm gonna wash my hands a lot because I'm about to go in public. So precaution, I don't, I hate thinking that I'm gonna get someone else sick. Like, I don't know. Is it just me? Probably not. So we're actually about to go get some sushi or I'm gonna get some sushi. We're gonna go hang out with some friends and then I have to do a little bit of grocery shopping because I have no more fresh broccoli, which you guys remember in my vlog yesterday. Like, ever, <laughs> this is so stupid. Like I used to go to frozen veggies all the time until I finally learned how to do steamed fresh broccoli. And now I can't get enough. I know it's so stupid, but it just adds so much volume to your meals and stuff like that. So I'm rambling. Um, I guess I'll catch up with you guys here in a little bit. Super windy out there. My hair is already super frizzy. So this is, um, these aren't good ingredients to go together at all. Okay, I'm actually kind of shocked. It is not that cold out today. <laughs> I was expecting it to be cold because yesterday it was like, freezing so i was actually oh my god is that a little baby spider nope nope sis ain't doing it today so we just got to the restaurant and it's so windy outside that our car kept doing like this situation where like it was going off the road it was actually kind of creepy um i thought because you know my weight is in the car i thought that wouldn't happen but it's happening and it's kind of like freaking me out because <laughs> But it's kind of like freaking me out. I just hope like, you know, we're safe on the way home. Okay, you guys, I spoke way too soon. It's now frigid outside. I should probably just start carrying around a jacket or like leave it in the car or something my fault don't come for me but i was like having a marilyn monroe moment because my dress is kind of like super loose and it's like light feeling and it's so windy it was like coming like up my skin didn't show because like i stopped it from happening but it was um mm, kind of scary but we're about to go to the grocery store. Like I said, I need some things. And when I was having my sushi, the guy actually wrote California on the side with that sauce, which I was trying to show you in my little clip. I hope you guys could have could have seen that um, in person. It looked a lot better in person than it did in the little tiny clip, but yeah, it was pretty cool. So my most favorite makeup wipes in the world, these Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing palettes these actually do not break me out they actually make my skin feel super super soft hello what are you guys doing in my fridge what no the grocery haul happens outside of the fridge Okay, that was cringy. Cringe, Lynn. Okay. <laughs> Let's do a grocery haul. Get this going. We'll see if I can actually succeed. We got some chicken. I needed more turkey sausage patties. 
I needed some ground turkey. This is the 93% lean, 7% fat. I got a few of these. They're the orange chicken. Orange chicken, Lynn. I promise I'll stop doing that, but y'all got me. It's a habit. Um, so I love the orange chicken from Cheesecake Factory, but also love it lean cuisine form. Really good. And then I got a couple of the lean cuisine meatball and mashed potatoes. Those are my two favorite lean cuisines, if you guys are curious. Got some potatoes and I got chicken broth because I'm gonna be making a soup or trying to. I haven't made one in so long that I don't even know if I know how anymore. We got spinach, makeup wipes, English muffins, which I'm gonna start having those for breakfast. I'm gonna create a little English muffin moment. I hate filming right here because the lighting darkens my dark my dark circles like even worse. Don't like it. I got a couple of these steam fresh. It's just brown rice. I mean, it's literally just brown rice. <laughs> like, there's no added ingredients in this. Brown rice and water. Got some sliced water chestnuts. I'm gonna try to make some who knows what. <laughs> I also got some General So's stir fry sauce. We'll see how that turns out because I have no idea. And I also got baby corn on the cob for the stir fry. <laughs> I'm nervous, let's cross our fingers. And of course, the fresh broccoli. I get them like this because it's already cleaned. I just cut off the stem part because I don't like the texture of it. And I got some baby cucumbers. And that's all I got. Um, then we got some broccoli for it. She didn't need much really. And she got a few cut green beans, cans of those. So I'm gonna put away this mess. I have made a mess. And I was throwing these on the ground. <laughs> so. I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. So I just put away the groceries and I've been like really bad on water today, especially because I had sushi and I use a lot of soy sauce. Okay, not a lot, but definitely enough to where I feel like I've had a little more sodium than usual today. I do use the low sodium soy sauce, but. Rarity, you're not supposed to be on the table. I swear to God. Baby girl, come here, lover ball. <laughs> She's like, no, you don't. Riddle. Mama love you and all, but you can't be on the table. I go like this. <laughs> she's like, ah. now she's playing with the lid to my bottle. Baby girl. <laughs> Tweak. <laughs> Comment of the day. Becky was excited about doing a craft. I've never seen Becky even close to excited about anything. Her emotion level is flat. We have been getting a lot of comments about how Becky has been acting and looking in my vlogs. And I just want you guys to know that she might be sharing kind of what's going on. Again, it's her choice. Uh, there has been a lot of speculation and a lot of rumors as to what's going on with Becky and it's just not fair that these rumors are happening because people will start assuming them. Becky shouldn't have to share what's going on with her, but I know you guys can see a very big difference in her versus how she used to act, so I can understand why so many people are so confused with what's going on. But yes, she was excited to do the craft it's great seeing her moving more and eating better. I hope it continues. I hope it does too. Right now, I am wanting all the junk. Candy, hot Cheetos. Oh my God, I haven't had candy in so long. It just sounds amazing. And hot Cheetos, the spiciness and the crunch. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about it before I go crazy. 
I have a weird taste bud, I guess. The so, <laughs> yeah, um, I think I just have different taste buds. That's just like how it is. A lot of people look at my food, like, in the, and then in the comments, they say like mean things about it, but my food tastes good. Everyone who's ever tried things that I've made has really liked it. Um, people in the comments just make me feel like I make gross food. <laughs> So I'm actually getting a lot of nice comments on here. Here's another, love seeing you happy up and doing things, dressed up with your hair and makeup done. You look better than ever rooting for you. I appreciate that so much. I really, really do. I love seeing comments like this. Like it just makes me smile. But I know comment of the day is meant to be, you know, for me to maybe clarify things. And I know a lot of people don't like them if it's just a bunch of sweet things, which for me, I prefer it. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I have been skipping over a bunch of comments because I know you guys probably wouldn't want to sit here through all the nice comments, but I have been reading every single one and I appreciate them so much. I love baked potatoes with just salsa. What you made looks so much better. That makes me really happy and I promise you it was so delicious. I loved baked potatoes with salsa as well and I was trying to find a different way to also get in veggies and protein and honestly it was delicious. If she was losing weight, you'd think she'd weigh in as an F you to the haters. Um, I have thought about it. I have thought about this several times, trust me on that one, but it's just, it's not worth it to me. I have set a goal for myself and I want to achieve that before I do a weigh in video because it's important to me and it's not always about proving people wrong or proving people right. Okay guys, so this is the last one. Every single one that I've just went through and I've gone through like 20 has been super sweet. This one says, loving this vlog, I'm here for her new outlook. Thank you so much, mom on a dime. I appreciate that so much. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my actual video and I'm gonna read the first top comment, which is the most liked comment. I think that's how it works. Okay, so here we are. Okay. She wears her new dresses, does her makeup, cooks healthier dishes, our girls improving. Wow. I was expecting something like rude to be the first word, honestly, because that's been my reality for so long. Even the second one, keep this attitude, don't go back to old Amber. Oh my god, when she said she was crying because she could walk for nine minutes. Good job, Amber and Austin. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so crying. <laughs> it honestly makes me happy. She seems so much more likable, I'm confused. I'm confused. Um, I just don't even know, like, where all this positivity is coming from. Like I, I don't, like I wasn't expecting it to be honest. I look like a freaking hot mess. I wasn't gonna show myself. I usually end with comment of the day and I look like an absolute insane person. Um, I, I appreciate your guys' comments so much and I really do wanna do a weigh in, but it's like, I told myself like I, I want to be down a certain amount of weight because I want to show people that I'm serious and not just like weigh in and be like, oh, da, 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 da. you guys know how I've been in the past, you know? I gain and lose the same, same 10 pounds and I don't want to be doing that anymore because that's not going to save my life. That's not going to help with my health. And it's like, I have a very, very ugh, pillow mountain. I know a lot of people are going to say stuff about that, but it's whatever at this point I have been thinking a lot of just like I'm afraid to fail like I am so afraid of failing and I have done my fair share of crying as of late because I no longer turn to food when I'm feeling such strong emotions I am turning to actual tears and feeling my emotions instead of turning to food and I've, I've been going at it for I don't know, it's been about a month now and it's just like, I didn't talk about it for the first couple of weeks because I did not want to trigger myself because sharing my weight loss on YouTube has never turned out good. But it's like now that I've been doing this for a month and I just feel 
so much better and in the right mind frame. Although yes, some hot Cheetos sound bomb, but I'm not gonna do it. Um, now that I'm in the better mind frame, it's like I do want to talk about it, but I also don't want to talk about it too much. I don't want to overshare, but it's like I also want to share my journey for the people who have been following me and who have been wanting me to succeed. And it's like I want to be an inspiration to people. And just all these sweet comments, this is like why I have such a big fear of failing. Because sometimes no matter how hard you try and no matter how hard you do, you can 100% relapse when you're a food addict. And I have done my fair share of binging in my life, you know? It's, it's just scary when you're doing so well, but you're used to doing so bad. It's scary, but it's also very exciting. And it, it does make me really emotional. And I have cried a lot recently because of it. Like these little things where it's like, I do weigh myself every day, it's a bad habit. And it's like, seeing the scale go in the right direction. Like I'm not saying I'm down like this huge amount, like I'm not down like a hundred pounds, obviously like, hi. <laughs> you guys would notice, but it's like seeing the scale move in the right direction has been just amazing for me and it feels good because it's like I'm finally doing this I'm gonna I'm gonna stop rambling I'm gonna stop ranting about this and talking about this but I just want to let you guys know like thank you so much for your guys's sweet comments like I'm just not used to it and I guess I'm just like overwhelmed with like joy and stuff like I just feel really grateful and it's like I just appreciate it a lot I really do so Moving on, I do hope you guys enjoyed the stay of Vlogmas. Um, Vlogmas is boring, but I'm gonna vlog. I'm gonna be a Vlogmas win, cause you know. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.